Hi guys. Well, we've gone from a sunny, hot day to a cloudy, gloomy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on Friday, October 15th. So I got this, I got our weekly ecological meltdown roundup rant interrupted midway through. So we're just going to uh, wrap that up with some stories that we did not get to. I had to go be a super Airbnb host and before my guest returns and the rain starts, we're going to talk about various animals burning up in, uh, in wildfires. We're going to start out looking at jaguars in the Brazilian Amazon where fire and forest loss ignite concern for Brazilian Amazon's jaguars more than 1,400 jaguars, I have no idea where they got that guess from, died or were displaced in the Brazilian Amazon during due to deforestation and fires over a recent three-year period. And then right next to that one, Indonesian park officials douse wildfire in Javan leopard habitat. Authorities in Indonesia have put out the second major fire of the current dry season in Indonesia's Bromo Tengger National Park, an area that's home to rare leopards and eagles. Uh, Burning is an annual problem in the park, with farmers in adjacent communities using fire to clear their land for planting, or tourists inside the park leaving behind campfires or discarding cigarette butts. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay, here, here's a... Uh, Here's a, a yeah right headline. Indonesia urged to improve policies protecting fishing vessel workers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, what's going on over there in Sub Saharan Africa in Gabon? We have some village fighting to save their forest. Yeah, good luck. A year into it, uh, the rural community is still waiting for a response. Meanwhile, the, uh, the planet eaters began logging in June. Do you think so? Uh... What's going on with monitor lizards? You know those giant Komodo dragon? You know the big lizards they're talking about. What is going on? Take a wild guess. What is going on with monitor lizards? In a sea of oil palms, even monitor lizards need islands of natural forest. Yes. The monitor lizards usually thrive in human impacted landscapes, but uh, the oil palm plantations are even too much or too little for the monitor lizard. Yes. Uh, gee, who would have thunk it? Uh, paper giants expansion plans raise fears of greater deforestation in Indonesia. Two paper giants, Asia Pulp and Paper and Asia Pacific Resources, plan to significantly expand their production capacity in Indonesia. Activists warned that these plans could lead to increased deforestation. Do you think so? Of natural forest and peatlands in Indonesia, to plant the pulpwood trees needed to meet this capacity. Yep, yep. Uh, you would not believe this. Critics say the projects are benefiting 
from the Indonesian government's deregulation initiative that strips away environmental and social protections across a wide swath of industries. Yep, yep, yep. And, oh, here's more about fires leaving trails of dead wildlife. They should have put this one in between Brazil and uh, this is Bolivia. Fires leave trail of dead wildlife and scorched land in Bolivia's protected areas. Forest fires in Bolivia have torn through several protected areas with experts warning of a repeat of the widespread burning of recent years. The main cause of the fires is slash and burn clearing by farmers ahead of crop planting which local laws permit even in forested areas. This is called planet nibbling. Uh, this is an example of, you know, these small-time farmers going in and, and, and slashing. I love that word, slashing, meaning obliterating off the planet, uh, you know, a couple of acres of forest, and then torching it, and then the fire takes off. The burning has now spread beyond Bolivia's borders and into Paraguay, where the fires raged for several days in the Pantanal wetlands. All right. How many, where have we heard this story before? Wow. Brazil reports increase in Amazon logging. Wow. Selective, selective forest cutting in the Amazon is on the rise according to data released last week by the Brazilian government itself. So the Brazilian government reported a 77% increase in the rate of cutting that is typically associated with logging. Uh, selective cutting in the region currently stands at the highest level in at least five years. So if the, uh, if the Brazilian government is, is calling it 77%, uh, you can look forward to the non-governmental organizations calling for the true number. Uh, what was it a few weeks ago where the Brazilian government was saying 12% and the non-governmental organizations were saying 57%? That's about average. The Brazilian government says 12%. The non-government organizations say 57 So if the, you know, if the Brazilian government says 77 the real number is probably about 500 the rise in logging is significant because logged areas in the Amazon are more likely to be eventually deforested. There you go. Uh, now, uh, so this is why I love Rhett Butler. Okay. You know, if I did not have Rhett Butler... One more time, for those of you who do not understand this concept, I want you to listen. To Manga Bay, the rise in logging is significant because logged areas in the Amazon rainforest are more likely to be deforested. Hmm, how does that work? I mean, that, that is, you know, the, the complicated dots you have to draw. More logging leads to deforestation. Okay. While I chew on that, all right, we have Facebook. We have Mark Zuckerberg stepping up to save the planet. Facebook to block illegal sales of protected rainforest lands. On Friday, Facebook announced it would crack down 
on the illegal sales of protected Amazon rainforest via its platform. The move comes after a BBC investigation found that Facebook Marketplace was being used to broker sales of federally protected lands including indigenous territories and national forest reserves. Yes. Uh, experts raised doubt about the effectiveness of Facebook's announcement since the social media company does not require its users to specify the coordinates of the land they are selling. There you go. Uh, to quote one of these experts, it won't work. All right, here we go. I, I might have to put this one in. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put Manga Bay in the Friday. This could easily wind up in my Saturday, hoping the Forest Act bill would hold global suppliers accountable for illegal deforestation. A new bill in the U.S. Congress would create legislation to prohibit, prohibit agricultural commodities like palm oil, cattle, soybeans, rubber, pulp and cocoa from import if they have contributed to illegal deforestation. Uh, so of course uh, this gets back to uh, the rant I've had several times and I, I forget the I think it was Philip Fernside you know talking about the the brilliant way around this is just call it legal deforestation. So you understand this bill, which is a joke. I mean, you do understand that this is a completely unenforceable joke, that it does not prohibit legally deforested land-based products. Okay, so if the palm oil, um, plantation or the cattle ranch came from an area of rainforest that was legally obliterated off the face of the planet, then that's fine. Anyway, so you, I want to make sure you understand the difference between legal and illegal. We talked about this already, about bribery for palm oil executives in New Guinea. I already had that rant. Uh, okay, we have a commentary not necessarily expressing the views of Manga Bay. Uh, keep polar bears and their extensive range safe from oil drilling. In September, a group of conservation groups sued the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to challenge a regulation they allege would allow oil and gas operators to harass, harm, and potentially kill polar bears on land and sea in Arctic Alaska. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, anyway, don't have time to get in with that. Uh, you will not believe that Democratic Republic of Congo Rangers entrusted to guard a gorilla sanctuary suffer from low pay and high risk. Yes. Uh, The work doesn't pay well, especially due to reduced numbers of tourists that the park depends on for revenue. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we won't go there. Uh, here is, uh, we started out with 
sea mining, uh, deep sea mining. All right, here is, okay, good for New Zealand. New Zealand has blocked the consent for a seabed mining operation that would annually, every year, extract 50 million tons. Every year, this is one operation of deep sea mining. 50 million tons of iron ore from the seabed uh, off the coast of New Zealand. Uh, environmentalists uh, see the decision as a clear victory, but the mining company has stated its intention to reapply for the mining permit. There we go. Um, conservationists say seabed mining in New Zealand would cause irreversible damage to the ecosystem and threaten many rare and endangered species. Alright. Can we save the bees? Absolutely. Oh, this is another commentary. To save the bees, we must begin with the most important question, which bees need saving? Uh, so this is, uh, this is Book Hermit will be cheering this on. Uh, honeybees are not even native to North America and generally prefer to pollinate non-native plants and crops. So to hell with the honeybees. Uh, you know, as Book Hermit is a champion, you know, for having honeybees go extinct. North America's native bees are adapted to, the, to our continent's unique habitats and flowering plants that occur here. There you go. Uh, but when floral resources are scarce, honeybees outcompete our natives for resources, even in native ecosystems. Okay, so I guess uh, we should start killing the invasive honeybee. And another thing, you know, honeybees are, are not, but people also don't realize, a lot of people are shocked when they hear that earthworms are invasive species. Earthworms, I mean, the vast majority of earthworms did not exist uh, in the Western Hemisphere, you know, until Honky got here. Earthworms and honeybees. Uh, our native Western Hemisphere ecosystem uh, did just fine for, what, uh, 265 million years with no help from honeybees and earthworms. So, Go ahead and, and, and while as long as we're killing all the honeybees, we might as well kill all those pesky earthworms. So, uh, Book Hermit, would you like to weigh in with a comment on uh, that one? Uh, all right. Will the European Union get deforestation? off our dinner plates? Of course, the answer to the question is no. The European Union will not get deforestation off our dinner plates. Uh, we have another commentary not necessarily endorsed by Manga Bay. The European Commission is drafting a plan to address deforestation linked with commodity supply chains. Uh, but Nico Musi, anyway, his, his, the description of what he is goes on for this. Anyway, uh, whoever this guy is argues that the measure has a significant loophole for soy-based animal feed and leather from Brazil. There you go. Uh, <coughs> The, uh, according to this guy, 
uh, the bill will still allow big agricultural companies like Cargill to continue to drive large-scale deforestation right next door to the Amazon rainforest in Brazil's Cerrado, Savannah, and Pantanal wetlands and exp export the products of that destruction to Europe. It's just called move the, you know, uh, move the fence post. Uh, all right, we have a prominent Balinese government official facing a backlash over his illegal pet gibbon. Yes, a public official in Indonesia has handed over his baby gibbon to conservation authorities following an, alf, an outcry over his illegal possession of the endangered animal. Yes. Uh, what a surprise. All right, but we're going to end up, we really are going to end up in Nigeria. Wow. Nigeria is the new global trafficking hub for the white-bellied pangolin. Nigeria has in recent years become a major transit point for the illegal trade in pangolins. Yes, making the scaly anteater the most trafficked mammal in the world, with the four Asian pangolin species increasingly scarce, traffickers have made Nigeria their hub, yep. and then shipping them to Asia from Nigeria. Uh, there you go. We're going. I think we've heard the sad tale of the pangolin for how many years so anyway uh, going to uh, once again we really are going to wrap up this week's ecological meltdown roundup rant I think the first little drops of rain are beginning to fall so me and the little dog need to take cover get out there and take cover while you still can Bye, guys.